welcome to my channel love it or more this is going to be your december 2021 forecast uh, for virgo sun moon and rising energies are non-gender specific take what resonates and leave the rest behind because it is a general reading okay so i will be doing a quite um i'm going to keep this quite sharp and simple as much as i can because i do know i ramble on quite a bit um we will start with three piles your current energies, your obstacles, and then the third pile will be the culmination. We will begin with uh, 20 seconds of the sound bowl just to tune in to the energy of Virgo. You beautiful earth signs. Okay. All right, Virgo, let us see what December has in store for you. So just to be mindful that this year of 2021 um, reduces numerologically um, as a five. And fives talk about um, changes, obstacles, challenges to overcome. So for the collective, for the whole wide world, this year of 2021 has been one big major challenge. Uh, and uh, as we close off the year of December, moving into 2022, uh, which reduces to the six, which is a number of love, harmony, give and exchange. Um, it, sometimes it tends to be a bit of a, either a cherry on top, a final challenge to see and experience, or we've already moved through those energies and we can kind of rest and celebrate. Okay, so just to know that as we move into December, it marks the ending, hallelujah, of this difficult, difficult year. Okay, so I will be cutting the deck for the main cards, but then clarifying with jumpers. What is in store for Virgo 2021 in December? Okay, your current energies is the sun. Ooh. Ooh, very nice illumination abundance clarity right uh, your challenge is the Empress creativity birth um, and nurturing uh, working from a mindset of uh, fulfillment uh, unconditional love from that heart space and your culmination is the hermit okay so introspection soul searching right let us see how this is planning out for you. I mean, so far it looks very positive. <clears throat> okay, so Virgo, please. I know that you're reading last um, month for this for, well, this month because I'm recording this in November. Was incredibly powerful. So um, and really supportive. So I know you've had a fairly decent month. Oh, three of swords jumped up there. We're not taking jumpers out of this pack, but um, that does give me a bit of a heads up. Um, there might be a little bit of sadness or some difficulties as it relates to the heart space um, and how you analyse the heart space. So the heart versus the head. But let us see. Okay. Right. For the sun, we have a knight of wands, fast action and enthusiastic passion forward maybe in a work uh, project or work relationship uh, we'll find out soon enough ace of pentacles brand new start happy days very nice this could be a money property uh, a romantic partner or a new business or a move a physical move and then we've got nine nine of cups so this is your wish fulfillment good lord so you got you what you wished for very nice uh starting in december let's move on empress what is the challenge coming we have the six of pentacles gifts coming in uh -huh, i see yes okay death transformation <clears throat> and we have the two of wands taking the next step the hermit so the culmination energy we have ace of you guys have got two aces this is amazing 
Ace of Wands there. Okay. Uh, Seven of Cups, Choices. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Right. So immediately what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo, is it's amazing. So um, you, start the, you start the month off with so much positivity because it's like everything is like falling into your lap. The thing that you've been hoping for and wishing for has arrived. And what that is, it could be, it looks like it's a new job or something that you can really apply physically, your spirit, your passion towards. Now, it could obviously be a romantic partner. We will clarify but it's what you've wished for. It's fantastic. But then the challenge that comes through is how you sort of share your wealth, share your energy, share your time with others. And there seems to be a quite a big transformation here. So perhaps it's quite difficult for you to um, learn to receive um, gifts that are coming in because everything we've got here seems to be kind of self-initiated, self-created, self-manifested. And so perhaps if there's gifts coming in, I mean, it is sort of the festive season so i mean obviously that, that could also just be christmas gifts um but <clears throat> the unseen to you is that um these gifts that are coming in from a place of unconditional love and this creativity marks a huge transformation to have a major arcana right in the center of the reading is quite strong okay it means that things are really twisting there's a twist of fate here okay and then you're ready to try and and then you're deciding oh god what do i do now i've got two choices I either go for what I wish for or I embrace something new. And that's what I'm feeling with these two aces here. I feel like they could be separate. Um, not separate, just different. Just different. So one involves kind of maybe, um, you know, the money, um, the long-term stability, something that has longevity to it and something that you've been hoping for. And the other one is a bursted flame of inspire, inspired action. Um, this could be passion. This could be love. This All of these things. And then we reach that stage of then you're doing the soul searching of like, oh God, I don't know what to do because I've got all these, I've got these two amazing op opportunities available to me. And, um, because I have two, there must be more options, okay? So then you enter a spell and that deep inner searching of um, what do you choose? What do you choose? What are the options? Now I'm full of abundance. There's so much abundance coming into me in every which way. And um, so sometimes it's quite difficult to make a decision then. And then you end off of like, um, hmm, maybe I should just keep my cards close to my chest. Um, maybe I should be careful of my spending because um, I don't want to get carried away. So I would say with this card, it feels like <clears throat> a little bit of self-doubt comes into it. Because when we are experiencing the abundance, which it looks like you will be, okay? Now, there could be abundance in love. There could be abundance in health. You know, abundance doesn't always mean winning the lottery ticket and having money. Although, so I don't see that here. I see what you've created here is um, you've drawn it and attracted it into your reality, which is amazing. Um, but usually what happens is um, when all this wonderful stuff comes towards us, it's exciting and we celebrate. But then we have the, um, some, what people call the reality check, which I hate because sometimes people say, oh, yeah, well, let's be real. What's the reality in this? The, re the reality is that, you know, you can't have it all. You know what? I think nonsense. Of course you can have it all. Of course. Why not? Right? What's the point in living if you can't aspire to have it all? Um, and so when that reality check comes in, sometimes it tends to put us back in the older um, mindset of lack mentality okay so when that comes in then we start kind of uh, projecting a fear-based energy around things and um, perhaps there won't be enough to go around now with the empress being there it tells me that there's always enough so the empress comes moves from a space of unconditional love um, from unconditional love when the more you give out the more you have to give right so um, I would say that the combination might just end up being that <clears throat> while you have all these options available to you, you're now trying to, um, uh, there may be a bit of doubt setting in because you, you, you're afraid of making the wrong choice, okay? And also it could be that, well, hmm, I might, maybe I don't want to sort of let on to anyone what I'm sort of thinking and feeling right now and this talks then about really going deep down soul searching within yourself to make sure that what you wish for which you receive is really what you wish for is it really what you wish for now okay is it what you want now then it's allowed you're allowed 
I'm, I'm seeing the so I'm not using the Moonology deck with this reading today but the card I'm seeing from the Moonology deck which is jumping to mind is nothing is ever set in stone okay um so you of your you have every um there's nothing wrong with changing your mind like nothing is ever set in stone in life that is the one certainty we have in life nothing everything changes and nothing stays the same okay except for death of course um and all death is this transformation so again it doesn't end it transforms it changes so let us clarify for you all okay Oh. These cards are so small and quite slippery, so you have to be a little bit careful. Right, can we look at the Knight of Wands, please, for Virgo? Thank you. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Seeing something from a whole new way. Now, this could be like a... Um, this is like the yes answer. It's, it's like it's like you've been given the all clear, the all... Um, like, all of a sudden, you're seeing something from a whole new perspective is like the truth serum and as you see the light as it illuminates it allows you to sort of really it could also be coming through as communication because it is a sword but the information is so cuttingly clear that um you know how to um you, you you you've you've been given the yes so if something you've been asking for applying for requesting and definitely asking the universe within yourself you're absolutely getting it with that comes clarity of understanding um and perhaps it's also kind of like clarity of where your mind has been so all the work that you've done with regards to sort of minding your thoughts minding your man your manners your um emotions and minding your um vibrations is is now you're starting to see that clearly ace of pentacles can we clarify this ace of pentacles please ah uh, yes you see this ace of pentacles this new venture now obviously he looks a bit like a farmer but um it's because you're receiving this because you you're now harvesting what you have sown so sometimes this card can be um, like a waiting card waiting for the harvest to come but because this one's clarifying the ace of pentacles i know for damn sure that this new opportunity is the harvest of what you have worked really really hard towards so all of this is well deserved it's what you've worked towards you have done the work you re you're reaping the rewards now of all that hard work it's really nice it's really nice and of course it is um both of them are pentacles so it could also be that this wish fulfillment uh that you want to this brand new thing is something that is happening in the physical world right now the night of ones is that action that passion working from the solar plexus energy working how you sort of apply yourself which is brilliant because you've done it um but this means that you can actually finally see the reward of your efforts you actually can see you can, it's tangible it's either your bank balance has changed or your product is complete or whatever that is right so you, it, you it's tangible it, it's like either a new job something that's physically that you do or and you and move to a new home you know it's something that's really kind of you can see it in the physical world and this nine of cups this clarify this nine of cups please for virgo so this is the thing that you've wished for thank you ah yes You've wished for an end of the internal struggle, okay? So what the things that you've been worried about up until now, whether the harvest is going to come to reap, it has, okay? So now you've wished, so you're out of this space over here, and now you're celebrating the fact that you have a moment's peace and um, that all that hard work, all that anxiety that you felt in the past with what you've been working towards is now paid off. And you come to that realization with that Ace of Swords, that clarity of truth, and with the sun, illuminating this you you start to see firstly that it was all worth it and secondly why was i worrying why did i spend too much of that sword energy there worrying okay you apply yourself you hope for it and you and you receive now i'm going to put these cards back in because i want the full spectrum of the deck to clarify just in case any of them want to return right let us move to the six of pentacles now the six of pentacles often talks about a gift or exchanges of gift it could be monetary or it could be resources <clears throat> but this is a this is coming from that beautiful empress which is really nice you don't see it coming but it comes it's like you know when things are 
you know when you have a really good when you have a healthy bank balance and then before you know it it just builds and builds and builds okay so when you when you're operating for a place of abundance like money makes money right when you've got enough you get more and um, equally is the same for the opposite so when you don't have it seems like it doesn't matter how much you're earning it just seems to sort of drip away um so with with the empress you're really in that state it's like such a surprise that now you're actually getting more than you than you asked for like is this true is this real okay six of pentacles let's clarify the six of pentacles for virgo i really am getting the sensation the feeling that you've you you deserve this you've earned it you've worked really hard for this A long time coming you know thank you four of cups ah yes remember i was saying about be careful um it might be quite difficult for you to receive gifts um it, it it's it's confirming this now so basically the the four of cups he looks at the three cups that are full and he's like oh yeah that's all right but he doesn't actually see that fourth cup being offered by the heavens which is this gift coming in over here right from the through the empress the energy of the empress the energy of unconditional abundance right um never-ending abundance and so i feel like there was going to be a little bit of a because you're so used to kind of looking after yourself and um working hard for what you've got it's quite difficult to um sometimes receive so this is basically talking about there's something that's coming in which i think you're not going to want to initially your impulse your initial impulse is, is going to be like um oh no no, no i'm all right i'm all right I would say receive it take it say yes say yes okay now this could be a gesture this could be like compliment someone someone gives to you and you're like oh no, no, no you know like someone says oh wow you, you're looking amazing these days like what's 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 your your secret and you'd be like oh no i'm fine you know everything's fine and you try and go back to the old way of saying oh well, i haven't actually slept that well and uh, you know my diet could be better and all the rest of it don't receive it okay receive the gift it could be love coming in you know but through through um through some uh, gestures like presents and um you're like oh but it's not christmas yet or i really don't deserve this or this is too much it's too much no it isn't virgo <laughs> it isn't it's never too much it's enough and it's more than and it's exactly what you want thank you very much so this is really a, a, this is the challenge um in this first section over here the challenge is learning how to receive how can you receive right yes you earned everything and you have that pride of knowing that what you're receiving you've deserved you deserve it because you've earned it and you've worked so hard for it but allow yourself to be showered with gifts from the universe okay take it all take it all say yes thank you thank you thank you lovely and equally uh, when you when, when you're working in that vibration you have a lot more to give as well so you can give time and energy to others perhaps you want to help someone else out if things are going a bit better for you um allow yourself to receive because you it's 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 your time <laughs> it's nice okay death card please what's this transformation thank you oh the star yeah love it absolutely love it virgo 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 Jeez, louise okay check out your previous uh reading in november because i know that it was very very positive the huge transformation that is happening occurring in your life that you don't see at a grander level at a magnificent divine spiritual level is that you're starting to work from that place of hope faith healing cleansing possibly even um recognition public recognition with the stars shining on you so the sun's sun shining for you but the stars also shining for you and that's what's marking this grand transformation so there could be a part of you who where you go okay well things are actually kind of pretty good at the moment but um you know life goes up and down and it's just in your mess match of time before it goes down again no <laughs> this this thing that you have you received this ace of pentacles that you've received and created and come into your world and allowed it to come into your world and if you can take and if you can receive more gifts from the universe that is marking a transformational shift in your reality from here on out where where it's going to place you it's going to be so strong that actually it's placing you in that 
can-do mindset, in that positive having faith mindset, in the faith in the universe, faith in yourself, faith in the balance of things and how it will come to manifestation. And that's the thing that's coming for you. So also the, in the other... in respects of uh, something else because it feels like it's coming up as well this good news is also going to have a, a, f um, a very positive effect on your health okay now obviously yes mental health of course because things are going well and emotional health yes of course um but i feel like your physical health is going to be in in impacted as well in a really really positive way so if you've been struggling with i don't know why if it keeps coming up it's come up twice now with this like sleeplessness or like sleep um problems um that's going to shift you're going to start to feel a lot more rested even if you don't get as many hours as you mentally would like to get you're starting to sleep a little bit better as well um uh, you, you feel well rested when you when you wake up and with that i think you also will be receiving kind of more kind of like light codes and activations from the universe and spirit um which is which i don't hardly ever say right in a reading because i know how um how uh how perhaps uh specific that is uh, for certain people who sort of understand a little bit about that information um so for it to come up is i would you know it's kind of it feels like it's real <laughs> it's not like yeah um okay so two of wands can we clarify the two of wands please for virgo queen of pentacles yes so with this oh i didn't see that where did that come from look at all these aha oh, wheel of fortune and temperance that jumped on the the um the death card with the star good lord look at that they're two major arcanas so we put those three together having faith that the wheel is fortune um the wheel of fortune is absolutely turning your favor and with that it's because of divine timing here divine timing holy moly virgo you've got it together that's that's it's all worth it that's that's why we had the nine of swords that was clarifying this card you know you get to that moment of clarity when we had the ace of uh, um, swords there clarifying that the clarity was it's all worth it it is all all worth it you're starting to understand the complexities of how the universe works at a, at a higher level right um will of fortune is, is absolutely in your favor and temperance is all about that divine timing having patience knowing that it will, things will come to roost um for you this is really nice and then with the two of wands with the um queen of pentacles here it's you're trying to navigate this um the situation further okay well sometimes i might feel like you slightly at a bit of a crossroads and i feel like you will be because it leads into this next group here and we've got this ace of pentacles here and the ace of wands over here and like oh maybe it feels like there's a choice that needs to be made i feel like you can have it all but there we go okay so this can sometimes talk about being at a crossroads or how do you kind of collaborate those two elements together and you're trying to figure that out from a queen of pentacles perspective and from that that's that's you right our pentacles are earth signs like you so the queen of pentacles is trying to work out okay well what's the best way that's going to allow me to manage my both my business and my family my, my business and like my my career and my personal life how can i do that do i need to make a choice between the two um how am i going to do them both or um it feels like in, in one aspect it feels like well if i go down this route it means that perhaps my personal life will suffer a bit and if i go down this route it means that perhaps this, this professional business will suffer a little bit i don't think um i think that's the thing that you will be deliberating over but i do believe that you can have it all and you can actually try and meet those two um the two pathways in one okay because the queen of pentacles i know this because the queen of pentacles is that queen who is able to effortlessly manage her domestic life and her finances and her uh, personal life her love life she can manage it all from just that single one pentacle that is over here okay so i know for sure you can do it you can do it all you don't have to see it as separate things you can in incorporate it all which is really nice ace of wands please thank you 
the emperor aha okay so this is about strategy learning planning ahead okay so i do feel like you get this um to me it actually feels like this opportunity now this passion this inspired action passion idea that comes through could be coming from either a sort of a masculine mentor and when i say masculine it doesn't have to be male it's just something that has like real masculine action orientated um vibration attached okay about planning and strategizing further okay so it could either come from there or it's something that's been born out of this inner reflection over here the soul searching over here how can i turn my ace of pentacles into all avenues how can i how can i blend into all avenues of my life and this is what you're trying to navigate now it could be that actually you are because you've got this reward over here and these gifts that have come in <clears throat> it allows you to do some inner soul searching as to uh, a sort of a passion project that you've always wanted to do and how do you implement that in the real world and these are the kinds of things that you're going to be thinking about at the end of december not a difficult thing hey i mean how wonderful would it to it how what a wonder what a wonderful problem to decide how to use what you have um, and uh, apply it to a passion that you have as really, really positive and for the future as well, because he's a planner, you know, and then we've got all these options to think about and consider. So let's clarify that. So sometimes it's a bit of a daydreaming feeling. And you know what? If you receive some rewards after some hard work, why not allow yourself to daydream a bit? You've earned it. Okay. Clarify, please. Seven of Cups, please. Let's clarify. Thank you. I uh, guess taking the next step. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he waits for his ship to come in. Okay, the three represents creativity like the three in the empress of here creativity nurturing creating something new two uh two wands are firmly in the ground behind them which is this two of wands over here finding out what, where are the dualities and the polarization with regards to what you want how can i bring them as one and you do you bring them into the three into that creativity and that's what you're sort of pondering in this ideas over here it seems like a very very simple reading this actually and the only problem you have <laughs> is learning how to receive, uh, which, you know, I don't think it's going to be too hard. And um, allowing yourself to dream on how you can further make this. I just, okay, I'm not very religious orientated, but I am seeing, you know, um, that image of Jesus. Uh, you, you know, the story in the Bible where... Um, He's got two fish and just a little bit of wine and he makes more bread out of just the, the bread and the fish, right? And he's, he's sitting on the table for dinner with his disciples, but they've only got a limited amount of bread. And Jesus uses his miraculous um, magic um, and consciousness from source energy to spread the bread out until everyone is so full and, he, and there is more than enough. I feel like that's the thing that you are pondering. How can I move this? And make more out of it which is really really nice and then this four of pentacles which can be an element of self-doubt or maybe it's just about keeping your ideas to yourself particularly if it's under the hermit card okay can we clarify that four of pentacles please for virgo okay oh yes lovely oh yes okay we've got nine of pentacles which is having all the resources you need okay to move forward independently and having the foresight to do so queen of pent um queen of wands is a bold brave action forward like taking the bull by the horns you know taking that fire embracing that fire within you and moving forward now i feel like as it relates to the four of pentacles um you i would say you don't necessarily have to i i feel like this is more relating to the kind of keeping these ideas to yourself and not really letting on until you have a firm emperor plan in action right 
So I would say um, don't give too much away to anyone just yet. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be harnessing your information and then using all the resources you have to become the leader in what you want to do. So if it, if it feels like, you know, you are wanting to create some sort of passion project or some sort of venture of sorts and you're, you're, um, you're using that power within yourself to um, be, step outside your comfort zone a little bit and sort of start working with fire and working with fire can of course people can get burnt if they if they play with fire but i feel like you're working with fire rather than playing with it with that queen of wands energy that bold bold brazen feeling to it so this these are the these are the kinds of things you're going to be sort of um, figuring out near the end of the year and you want to close the end off because I feel like in the beginning of the year you're going to be like all guns blazing really really nice oh Virgo I'm really happy for you this is very cool and what makes it so nice is that um, I keep saying it but it's true um, you've earned this you know this is this is your reward <laughs> Right, let's get an oracle card for you. Can we get an oracle card? Woo! Sorry, that fell on the floor. Bear with me a moment. Okay, I've got three cards here and we will take them all. The one that is upright is beautiful. It's like the full card. It says leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. So this bright new idea about seeing how you can incorporate both this um, ace of pentacles that you've received and created with that bread analogy into managing applying it to everything is definitely a good idea take the leap okay have the boldness and bravery of the queen of wands to implement it because it's there for you it's a gift then we've got the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Okay, so as you start something new, you sometimes have to, you know, you can't open a new door until you close another one. So there may be some sort of attachments that you need to, like, um, uh, release. Um, one of those attachments can be an element of self-doubt, of like, oh God, well, how, how long is this good fortune going to last me? That's an attachment. That's an, a mental attachment, an emotional attachment as well. How can you release that? It could also be that when you're venturing off to start something new, it's very difficult to say goodbye to the old, right? Whenever you take a leap of faith, you're saying goodbye to something. So work out for yourself because you. it seems to me that like the issues here aren't that big for, for December. It's all, we've got lots of sun, sunshine blessing your reading here, blessing your month. <clears throat> It means that you will have the emotional capacity in that higher platform to then assess the 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 things that are um, that you have perhaps a little bit of a codependency towards. Okay, um, in that like you need you need your cup of coffee in the morning to to get things done, or you need five cups of coffee, or maybe you just change the five cup, cups of coffee to the one cup of coffee. That's a that's a clingy. That's a a a. a, a it feels like an unhealthy relationship, right, to something. And that's the thing that you've got to work out within yourself, okay? So how do you see that from a different point of view so you can take this leap of faith? And then the ever-unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening to you, uh, happening for you, not to you. So all of this, usually this comes up with quite a heavy reading, you know, when someone's got a difficult time. I don't see difficulties. I see uh, a lot of soul-searching, um as you receive these gifts coming in which is really really nice and uh, particularly if your health has been um affected um then uh you know that is sort of shifting into the right place but all of these gifts it says yeah it's happening for you it's for you you've deserved this it's amazing so virgo that's all i have for you i hope that it resonates it's really lovely um if you like this please do like subscribe comment and share it does help my channel um i'm still fairly new on youtube and it takes quite a while to build up right um i also do personal reading so if you're interested in that go to my website aloveitormore.com um or check out the description box below and uh have a wonderful december see you next year <laughs> bye